A self-taught game programmer and a former South Sudanese refugee, Luol Mayen has been recognized a global gaming citizen at this year's Game Awards in Los Angeles, which is sponsored in part by Facebook Gaming. It is the first year the gaming ceremony has presented the award. Mayen, founder of Junoob Games, thought himself how to program after his mother, who was also a refugee in Uganda, saved money for three years to buy Mayen a computer. Upon receiving the gaming industry biggest award ceremony late last week, he tells Ayen Bior he is still in disbelief that the industry recognized his contributions. It's never something I've, I've ever dreamed of to, to be one of the uh, global gaming citizens because, um, you know, the game industry is uh, it's a very big uh, industry. It's huge. And for someone to penetrate into it and be recognized at the Game Award, it, um, it, it, it's a lifetime honor for me. And, you know, like the game, uh, you know, the, the independent games and all the game designers, you know, come together every year to celebrate games. And you know, at, at uh, in, in Los Angeles, and these are like the biggest uh, gaming, uh, you know, award in the world. And for me, as someone who just, uh, you know, I train myself on how to make games. I never dream of making games one day. And for me, it's like to be recognized by the game industry. It's something that means so much to me a lot. When I started making games for peace building and conflict resolution, I thought it was something that that is so different from other game, but uh, being able to see that the industry is uh, able to recognize game for such a good, it really, you know, made me so happy. Lual, credit also goes to your mother. During the Game Awards, they showed a video of you, and, and in, in the video, it mentioned that your mom was the one who actually bought you your first computer, and she had saved for years to buy you that computer, which then enabled you to learn how to program. Exactly. And I mean, like, you know, and that's why, like, I'm, I'm really so proud of my mother because actually first thing, uh, even right now when I tell her, like, I'm a game designer, she, she doesn't understand what I, what I do. But because she's a mom, she wanted the best for me. You know, she had to sacrifice all, like, you know, all she had to do to, to get me the computer. And she's, uh, she's really amazing. And that's why they managed to, Without our contribution, actually, my story wouldn't actually be where I am today. But because you spend most of the time, you know, tailoring and getting some money to buy for me a laptop, it really, like, I I was so happy when I was talking to her yesterday. And I told her, like, you know, I've been recognized because of the work that you've been doing. And, you know, some of your work have been shown to the world. And, like, she's, um, she's really so happy and, you know, she deserves everything, you know. How did you come up with the idea to use games for peace? You know, one day I, I started playing a game called GTA Vice City. It's one of the most uh, violent games. Like, it's, it's really so violent, but a lot of people love it. But when I was playing that game, I was, like, I was so addicted. I, I was like, I love the game. I like the gameplay. I love everything. But when I thought to myself, I was like, okay, how about using uh, the same type of game for social impact, for to help people, like, instead of killing people, why don't you, like, save people's lives? Why don't you, like, build a community? So in the game, in, you know, in the game, because games are really very, very important, and people love them. And, for example, I can say, like, a lot of people, especially the young people, love playing games. And if you want to, like, make a better world, then we have to target the young people by using games for, you know, for peace, for social innovation, for for social good, so we can impact people's lives other than like, you know, playing war every day. It become like what we think, it become what we what we do every time. So like I felt like, you know, playing that game really inspired me a lot to to start um uh the same version of, of peace building. So Luol, tell me, what is the future of gaming? The future of gaming is really good because uh when I was at the Microsoft Theater and like there was like thousands of people and seeing like games being uh, played and seeing like uh, and actually having interaction with different uh, game designers. I actually met with, uh, with the president of, of Nintendo. Uh, so like, and I had a conversation with him and he was telling me a story that, you know, games right now like are really advancing and they're looking into like the stories and how they can be able to change because each game has a story. And that means like, you know, the game industry is actually going to be 
bigger than and more impactful than, than the film industry. That was Loal Mayen, creator of Junoob Games and recipient of this year's Global Gaming Citizen Award. He was speaking to Ayen Dengbior from Washington.